Hey guys, it's Mr. Rinaldi. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick how to import audio into your Audacity window. So you have something to work with that isn't just generated tones or yourself just talking. So this is how we, we, we can do that. I'm gonna, first I'm going to click on File. That's right up here. And that gives me this drop-down window. I want to go to Import and over to Audio. So I'm going to click on that. And that brings me to my uh, music library. You might have to pick the destination. Um, I go here pretty often, so it defaults to my last selected file. So I go to, you know, I can show you the uh, whole file route if you'd like. You can see here I went from user, or sorry, no, local disk to users, public, public music, sample music. This is just music that was on my computer. Now I'm going to pick this track, Kalimba. and it imports and there I go I have a, a large audio region but I just want a piece of this region so let's check it out and hear what it sounds like <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty cool. I just want that beginning piece though. I want to make it into a loop that I can use over and over again. So I'm going to click on my magnifying glass. I'm going to zoom in on this beginning part right here a couple times. I want to make sure I'm at the beginning too. So we're going to do some cutting just so we can have a section that sounds maybe like I'll highlight it and decide exactly what I want. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's see where the beginning should be. So I want that first beat right there, that bass drum beat. That's where I want to start this. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and use my arrow, my right arrow button to go over to the end of this, which I think is going to be right about here. Now if I want to hear that as if it were a loop, we can audition it. To audition it, I want to hear it uh, over and over again, to hear if, it, if there's any uh, inconsistencies or if it's off by half a beat. So I'm going to hold shift and hit, pl hit play, or I'm going to hold shift and hit space bar. It sounds like a little hitch in there. So what I could either do is extend it slightly further and see if that helps, or I might have to just scrap it and start again. So here we go, auditioning with loop function. All right, so something funky is going on here, not getting exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to zoom in on this problem part. So I clicked on my magnifying tool. I'm going to zoom in just to that part. So as you can see, I have it grabbed by, I have, or I have selected a large part of the waveform. I don't want that large part of the waveform. So again, we're going to go to the beginning, and you always want to choose in the, in the smallest amplitude section of the waveform. And I'm going to scroll over to about, it was just before five seconds. I could, I could look at that top bar and see exactly where I am in time. And we're going over to five. So let's let's stop that right over here because there's a big spike in the waveform. That might be it right there. So let's try it. Holding shift, hitting spacebar. There we go. That sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna zoom back out. And I still have my magnifying glass selected. I'm gonna hold shift. You can see that it turns to a minus. Okay, so that's great. I have something selected, but now what do I do with it? Well, I'm going to cut it out, and then I'm going to paste it into a new track. So I go up here to my little scissor tool. I cut it out. Go to Tracks. Add New. Always Stereo Track. At least for now, always Stereo Track. That gives me a new track right down here. Now, I'm going to hit Control-V on my keyboard to paste it. Or I could click right here. But I'm going to use my hotkey, Control-V and it's going to paste it wherever my playhead is. So that's this thing moving across the screen. I'm going to paste it right at the beginning. Now what do I do with that other track? Well, I don't really want it anymore. I got what I needed out of it. I got my sample. So goodbye. Don't need it anymore. 
And I'm going to check out my awesome sample. Make sure it still sounds good. So here's how I can sample that. I could just copy and paste that over and over again. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to bring my playhead to the end. Paste it again. Playhead to the end. Uh, paste it again. I can keep doing that over and over again. And uh, if I want to save some time, I can go back and copy the whole thing by hitting Control and C, and then adding that whole thing I've just selected back onto the end. So I've just made myself a pretty long loop. I'm going to jump back to the start. We could have some fun with this too. We can slow this whole thing down. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all, go to effects, and I'm going to change the tempo. Tempo refers to the speed of the music. I'm going to I'm just going to use this fader right here and we'll drag it down just a hair. And hit okay. So you could see that it's now stretched the tempo. It changes the tone a little bit. But my beat just got a whole lot fatter. So that sounds pretty good. I'm going to zoom way out. Make my zoom tool selected, holding shift. Zooming way out. So this is my whole audio region right here. I want to bounce this out and send it to an MP3. So all I do is hit export. And I want to choose a WAV file. You can also choose MP3. WAV is good though. We'll stick with WAV. And we hit save and that'll bounce this out and it'll appear on my desktop as a listenable MP3 or WAV file. And that's how you take care of that. So I hope this helped you, and I hope it was um, at least somewhat interesting. And I hope, I hope to hear what you create with Audacity soon.